All right, man, talk to talk. 12 o'clock show. You know what I'm saying? 12 o'clock show. How y'all doing out there, man? I'm hoping that y'all good, man. So look, Joe Buttons has spoke on MCing and certain things that he thinks that certain MCs should do. J. Cole, Drake, and all these people. So look, man, we're going to get into that. Before I get into that, you know I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please subscribe. And if you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. It's free. It's free over here. You know what you subscribe? It's free. Even if you don't subscribe, it's still free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is on the screen. Cash app, PayPal's in the description. Thank everybody for all the donations. I truly appreciate it. You know, I know sometimes it's a little difficult to screenshot the John and then blow it up and all that shit. I'm sorry, man. The, the, I, if I had a better way of doing it, I will. But you can also go into the description if you want to donate. If you don't want to donate, it's all good, too. I ain't going to hate you for it. I would love you for it, but I ain't going to hate you for it. You know what I'm saying? Donate if you want. They called me a hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 13, uh, 11,000. A million by Monday. Thank you very much. And, um, yeah, man, let me know where you're from, too. I really appreciate it. So let's get into this clip, man. <laughs> All right, man, let's go. <laughs> Links will be in the description. You know that. And wait, and, but wait, and yeah, but I don't give a fuck about that. I, I can't. I'm talking to your, your the heart of MCs now. Like, so you could try to paint this away for fans talking about niggas do niggas is doing this for the bots. mean people and the bots and that other side of hip hop. We not on that side, dog. I never understood that. You know what I'm saying? Why why J. Cole, why are you attacking the fans? Like, to me, it just seems like an excuse of of uh because you had to have something to say. And I also think that you jumped the gun on a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, when Kendrick said the whole big three lines, just big me, you know what I'm saying? You should have already knew what time he was on. Honestly, I think y'all should have just chilled after that. Like, <laughs> but we wouldn't have got all these great battles. You know what I'm saying? But the bull set us up and it stuck. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. I guess the MC and J. Cole, he couldn't, he couldn't resist. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's get, let's get back to Joe. We're not on that side. Before that side was really a thing, those other two in the big three wanted to kill each other and fight for number one. And you presented yourself as someone that wanted to do the same. So you could still rap great. This is incredible rapping. Mm -hmm. But also to be number one, you got to maybe take somebody's head off or do something that is not going to feel the greatest. It got to be a competitive thing at some point. That's 100% facts. This is the reason why I'm going to tell y'all right now. There is legends for a reason, right? Now, J. Cole and Drake, they could be legends in their own right. They could have a cult following, whatever. And it, it'll go down as default legends. But... Kendrick will go down as an icon. So will people like Biggie, people like Pac, people like J, Nas, M. You can't put J. Cole and Drake in the same conversation with them. Biggie, Pac, Nas, M, J, Kendrick, Rakim, and those guys right there, those guys. Now, we, we could go to the other, the, old, the other old heads, but just, just use Rakim for reference, right? You can't put Drake in the same conversation with them dudes because they did what they had to do to become the best. Even Jay, Jay let's say Jay lost the battle to Nas, right? He say he lost. But Jay, he went crazy on some of them joints. And to me, Ether was the, was the, was the, I would say it was the, 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 the gut punch that put Jay down. But you can't sleep on, you can't sleep on Takeover. And some people think Takeover is better than Ether. I honestly think the beat is better. I think Takeover beat is cool, but it's not better than Takeover. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's a debate with that. 
Pac and Big is the beat with that. I mean, even though people say, my boy says who shot you isn't a diss to Tupac, but I mean, six shots at the end of the song and it's who shot you, they hit him up. Some people definitely going to side with hit him up, but who shot you, those beats were crazy. Those songs were crazy. Like, to me, it just seems like this battle with Kendrick and Drake was so one-sided because all the songs, the only songs we really talk about, we talk about all Kendrick songs and we only talk about one song from Drake and that's Family Matters. And that's iffy. But it just goes to show you, you know what I'm saying? You got to be a monster and these dudes are not. J. Cole and, and Drake are not monsters. They're not. And they could never, they could never, Kendrick is a savage. He's a savage. You know what I'm saying? And they can't be that. They can never be that. When it comes to this mic, he's been trying to take these dudes out. And now you know what I mean by that, but let's go. And I think that he looked at it, and, then, and after this especially, he got some reflection and said, yo, the risk is not worth the reward. I also have a retort to that. I he think did. that you could also become number one by ignoring all that shit and just killing shit and pushing forward. No, but I agree. When you keep going back, you can do that. I agree. Fuck the internet, man. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. There is going to come a time where you get tested because the thing about being number one, this is hip-hop. This is in, it, even in all the other genres, it's the same thing. People get tested. You can't say by keep killing shit, you became number one and keep killing shit. The first thing that people are going to say is, was you ever battle tested? That's it. Because that's a part of, that's a part of being number one. Whether you guys try to act like it's not, being number one, battle tested in hip hop is being a part of it. You can't, you can't be number one without being battle tested. There's no rapper in history, in the history, in the history that claimed they were number one and never been battle tested. Every one of them. Every one of them has been battle tested. You know what I'm saying? Every one of them. So you can't say that. You can't say you could just keep killing shit. Nah, that's that's not that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna work because eventually there's gonna be another one that people consider number one and he's going to be on your heels or he's going to go right there and you got to stop him. Or you got to put him down. This is what Nicki Minaj does. This is why I hate to say it, but this is why she's probably the best female rapper of all time because she does not play that. She do, she could get petty. She don't care. And I know people going to jump in the comments and say, you think she the best ever? In the whole scope of things, Nicki Minaj is number one. And I hate to say it, but she is. She's number one. You know what I'm saying? You can't, what can you really say to her? You could say that she she's an idiot. You could say she does stupid shit. But you can't really say anything to her because her the, her her practices when it comes to music is pretty, is pretty okay or whatever you want to say it. But she's in control. And on top of that, she got hits, a lot of hits. And on top of that, when she really want to rap, she can actually rap. She might not be the craziest, but she can actually rap. And she, from what I'm hearing, she writes her own shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, but I'll put it to you like this. The old Nikki, yeah, she slaughtered a lot of these girls. She would. Me personally, who I think is better just doesn't have the time. If she had the time that Nikki had, Doja Cat would smoke Nikki easily, 100%. You know what I'm saying? Even though I know she look up to Nikki, but to me, Doja Cat is better than Nikki. It's just the fact that she just doesn't, doesn't have the time in. You know what I'm saying? She has the time, but I know a lot of y'all probably don't even know about Doja Cat. A lot of y'all y'all think she's just a pop star, but actually Doja Cat was a rapper and she was super fire before she actually did all this. Yeah, you know, like y'all probably don't even know she was the Moo Girl song. Moo. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. And a lot of y'all don't know why she did that song. She said, I'm going to do a song because she was doing a Periscope every Friday. And this is off topic, but still, I'm, I'm, go, go, I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Shout out to Doja Cat. I'm going with it. Look, she used to do Periscope. 
right? Every every uh, Friday, every 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 Friday night, and she used to rap. And then I believe one day she said, "You know what? I'm just going to do a song that makes no sense, and I'm I guarantee you it's blow up." And she called it, "Bitch, I'm a cow, bitch, I'm a cow, go move." And she did that song, and it blew up. And she was pointing out the fact that people don't really care about lyrics like that. Because she spits. Like, she goes crazy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all probably don't know this, but she really does go crazy. Like, So, but anyway, let's keep it going. Hey, y'all saying that yes, is true. That Fuck was the my internet. Point. Yo, no, I ain't so on that. That ain't said enough. Fuck the internet. Stop reading the comments, man. Bro, that's not that true. was my point. That's true. I don't it's think critical. That, that's when, how we when got you are elite, features. fuck the internet. Yeah. That's how we true. got certain features. That was You can't do that though. You can't. That's your fan base. See, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all try to play this role like Joe, you know better than that. Because you, Joe, you were the one of the, the pioneers of the internet. You can't say fuck the internet, bro. That's what everybody's at. Can't say that. I'm not saying you gotta cater to everybody on the internet, but you can't say fuck the internet, bro. There's no more radio, bro. You can't say fuck the internet. Everybody's there. Everybody's there. It's people like me who listen to y'all and commentate on what y'all saying. Everybody's there, man. And I got people who follow me, who listen to me, and they and they and they get, you know, get it from me. They want to know my opinion. The same thing with y'all. People want to know y'all opinion too about certain things. So you can't say that. Now I understand what he's trying to say is fuck the internet, like don't listen to. No, you got to. Now you don't have to listen to them and do exactly what they say, but you have to combat them in some type of way. You know I mean, like you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta compete. And I think that you can't, you can't get around the internet because they're gonna never let you down. They're gonna never let you forget. Internet's gonna drag you. And right now, I think what they're what they're really missing is Drake. Drake. The problem that I think that a lot of them don't want to say is Drake fell off. They don't want to admit it because he's so big. And they feel like, listen, every rapper fell off before. You know what I'm saying? If they was consistently coming out. Only rapper that hasn't fallen off to me is Kendrick. He's the only one. But every other rapper has fell off. Whether they fell off because they got knocked off or they fell off because they just not making great music. In this case, Drake Ben fell off. Y'all just was holding him at such a high standard because of his name. That's what it was. His name is what kept him up. Outside of that, he doesn't have any, his last four albums wasn't good. But y'all don't want to admit it. He's been, he been fell off. He been fell off. The one with 21 Savage, that's okay album. You know what I'm saying? It's got a lot of raps on there. It's okay. Well, he has no choice but the rap. So it's okay. Outside of that, he been fell off, man. My whole point as a Cole fan, bro, fuck what the niggas who aren't your real fans are saying. Rap for you and for your fans. You're rapping to please, you can't please everybody. And the sooner he realized that, the better off he'll be. And he just said that in this now. And I think the realization came after this shit. He's saying, yo, now I realize you can't please everybody. You should have You should have been realized that though. Like, why are y'all giving these dudes so much grace? Y'all don't give Kendrick this much grace. It's like Kendrick has to do everything right for you dudes. But these two dudes, y'all just give them so much grace. It's like, oh, yeah, he, he, he's realizing that now, right now. He got it. He got it. He got it, man. He got it. He realizing right now that, you know, he got it. And it's like, I just don't understand that. I don't understand why y'all give them so much grace. Like, for real, I don't understand why y'all give J. Cole and Drake so much grace. I really don't. Was that Wait, months ago. That's not All for right. you to say. Yo, that's for anybody you to out to there, that in real time. For anybody out there that's listening, yo, maybe you never heard it before. You can't please everybody. True. Why are you going to be so careful? That's true. But at the same time, the business that you're in, you have to accept, you had to accept that from the door. And a lot of these dudes, see, the thing is with a lot of, a lot of uh, rapper artists, they think that they, they can change people. That's why I was telling one of my young bulls that does music with me. 
And I told him, I said, I'm just going to do what I want to do. Because if I like what I do, I don't care about what everybody else says. Because eventually you're going to find people who like what you like and they're going to they're going to like what you do. You can't cater to everybody in everything that they do. That's not who you are supposed to be. You can have them in mind, but there's too many people who want you to do too many things. You got artists who do stuff and they do stuff from the beginning. They're one way and then they start to grow and people get mad. And then they go try to go back to the old stuff and then they say, no, man, don't go back now. Don't cry with me. What you did, you spilled the milk already. You got to keep doing what you've been doing now. It's like, you just got to do you. And you got to get that, that, uh, how would I say this? You have to get past that people putting you in a box. You got to jump out that box and do what you want to do. And then people will respect all your music. If you just stay in the box, then people are just going to keep you in that one box. The whole reason his I'm fan base is sarcastic. Worse. That's a true we, thing. We, we but don't get on that. no fucking song as a, he ain't no uh, uh, young hush puppy. Don't get on the song and now tell me, I learned after this you can't please everybody. Nigga, knock it off. That's, that's, just that's not what you was on. That's, just, Man, yeah, that's not, not what you was on. That's not, that's not what you was on. That's not what you was on. Even even in that seven minute drill record that he put out that he deleted, he was talking like I can take your fucking heads off. Kendrick, I, I, I'm better than you. I'm better. Now it's. I'm, I'm just, that's a hundred percent facts. He was talking big shit. You know what I'm saying? He said he called Kendrick light work. He said, well, he said, this is light work. So obviously he's essentially saying Kendrick is light work. Cause his light work, like UPWC, like, yeah, this is light work for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and listen, bro, <laughs> listen, bro, listen, bro. And I'll be honest with y'all. Joe Biden podcast, y'all was coming at, y'all was saying that he didn't want nothing to do with that nigga Cole, Jermaine Cole. Y'all was saying that, bro. Y'all was saying that. Maybe not Joe, but the rest of your dudes was saying the boogeyman or whoever don't want nothing. They, they, that guy, Jermaine Cole, oh, man, they don't want him, want nothing with him. Y'all was saying that. I remember. Glad to be here. I think. And, and I think. I, I want to hear that shit. Bro. I think he got I a hold. Of, I think he got a hold of what Kendrick was going to talk about when he was going to call Drake. You know, or the it didn't have to go. The there. news that he called Drake a pedophile and all that shit. I think Cole got a win of that and just said, "I'm removing myself from that." That shit. Yeah, we've been messy. We been phone. And, and you know what I'm mad at too. And then I'll toss back to you, Ish. If I'm Kendrick. Don't get on no song making it sound like I was the one whose emotions was ever in jeopardy by none of this shit. I've been consistent in my point since that Big Sean shit. What is it, Control? Control. Mm -hmm. control. I want to kill all you niggas, whether we friendly or not. That has been my position. It ain't me. So now that makes it sound like this is some type of Drake public pandering, and then we get to an eight-bar solo of... Drake public pandering. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to tell y'all right now, Kendrick Lamar has been consistent across the board. He's never swayed. He's never said anything different. He's been saying this. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to murder you all, you niggas. Trying to make sure all your core fans never heard of you niggas. What is competition? You know what I'm saying? Not, not, we say, uh, not hear not one noun verb from none of you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> then he's followed it up like, what's competition? I'm trying to raise the bar high. Like, bro, he had all you niggas, bro. He, had, he took the rap game by storm. And it's like the thing is, Joe's right. He has not changed his position since then that was back in 2013 that was 10 years ago 11 years ago he hasn't changed his position since then and on top of that he he all the other dudes are eliminated they all eliminated what you know what i'm saying rest in peace to uh mac miller but they all eliminated because they're not a part of it and then he just came at the the last two Fuck the big three. It's just big me. I'm the one now. Look at me. 
I'm the captain now. You know what I'm saying? So, keep going. Where you are addressing what? I don't want to say internet narratives because somebody might really feel like this. See, we be saying shit is an internet narrative when niggas might really be feeling a way and the internet just happened to notice. It's possible. Could That's be. another thing in yeah. 2025 that need to go. Internet narratives. I just said that, bro. <laughs> I just said that in this morning. Like, we all follow these narratives. That, there's no point of that no more. And I think that's what it is. You got to break that, bro. That's got to go. I'm sick of that. It's over for that. Niggas be feeling away, And the internet sees it. <laughs> I don't think this is him. J. Cole's never come off that way to me as the guy to reply to internet narratives. All right, I'm going to head that in the description. Y'all know what it is. Yeah, man. I agree with Joe on that. J. Cole has never came off that way. That this is what makes me believe what Joe was saying about him pandering to Drake. And I said that before. He didn't have to do all this. He could have just literally sent a, sent a text message. But I think he wanted Drake to know that he still got his back, even though the world is against him. But, but again, we're dealing with another master manipulator. And J. Cole is a master manipulator. He definitely is. I don't know why I'm rolling. Why am I rolling this up? Now, you ever did that? You ever did, you ever did that? <laughs> and y'all driving your car, right? And a water bottle falls on the floor in the other side of the, you know, in the passenger seat, isn't it? And you you driving by yourself, obviously. And you driving and you're trying to reach over <laughs> to get the water bottle off the floor. Why? Why not just wait until you stop? You know what I'm saying? Then you <laughs> like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why the hell I need to roll this up. I guess that's a uh what they call that? Uh, they call that. I don't know what they call that. Y'all know what it's called, right? It's a it's a disorder. O O C D O C D. Yes, yeah, O C D. You know what I'm saying? Like if they, everything has to be organized. Like if you if y'all guys can see my my uh all my shades is all organized neatly. You know what I'm saying? But then you look over here. <laughs> I got trash over here. I gotta get that out of here. But anyway, but yeah, it's like I said, man. J. Cole's never been one of those guys to me that has ever uh, just fit into the narrative. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, then again, yes, he has. Yes, he has. He he does for he does feed into the narrative. I'm just I'm just thinking, you know, I'm I'm just thinking about it right now. But yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this whole thing. But we'll see what happens, man. But yeah, I'm out of here. Six o'clock show coming up. Love you guys, man. Y'all have a good afternoon, man. Go back to work. Get off lunch. You know what I'm saying? Go in a... I know you got yourself a cheesesteak, fat boy. Or fat girl. Stop eating that. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you go to the gym later. Even if you did. All right, I'm out of here. See y'all. <laughs>